Hello everyone, I'm going to go over my list here. Um, this is my Blue-Eyed Familiars list that I've been playing post-Sanctuary. Um, we have pretty much the same game plan. Um, eventually we're going to land our Sages Rodenison, which allows us to mill our opponent. And uh, we do that by getting two Sunscape Familiars onto the board, one Mnemonic Wall, and using one Ghostly Flicker. And because two Sunscape Familiars reduce the generic mana cost, we can pay one with just one island and flicker the Mnemonic Wall and the island infinite number of times. So that will give us infinite mill triggers with the Sages Rodenison. And we can also get infinite life in the same way because it says whenever you cast a blue, black, or red spell, you gain a life with Godfrey's Faithful. Um, in order to accelerate ourselves out, we actually have six bounce lands, four chanceries, and two is it boilerworks. And then I'm using four snaps. Um, I've also decided to use two negates over any prohibits in this list, mostly because there's a lot less Boros Monarch and uh, Is It Fey, and we can use negates to counter something like a Bonder's Ornament or a big mana spell. Uh, the mana base is the six chanceries or the six bounce lands, and then five fetches. I have six regular islands, a mountain, and two planes. I'm also working on uh, five cantrips here. The other option would be to add an Evolving Wilds and drop the Ponder. I'm not sure if that is better or worse. It would make it a little bit more consistent to get the Mountain Post board, probably, but I like being able to set up my draws in the early turns and uh, have five ways to play God, Pharaoh's Faithful, and cantrip um, in the case of Burn. Uh, because Sanctuary was allowing us to get back a lot of spells really cheaply, well, for free, um, I'm trying to use Ephemerate here, so I have ephem two Ephemerates to do kind of the same thing. And uh, it gives us like a lot of card advantage with like a turn 4 Evoke and Ephemerate a Drifter. And because of me using two Ephemerates, I only have two Ghosty Flickers. I have four of these Deep Analysis to uh, get a lot of card advantage and bust through counter spells. And I have four Seagate Oracles. I also have the three of the Mnemonic Walls and four Moldrifters. Uh, in this list, I am not playing any Stonehorns on the main board. I'm just trying to rely on uh, getting out of range with a lot of life gain. Perhaps that is a mistake. Um, in the sideboard, I have four Stonehorn Dignitaries, uh, which is the best way to lock up combat. I have one Prismatic Strands kind of a hedge against something like Bogles or Stompy. It's possible that I want to play two and three, two Prismatic Strands and three Stonehorns. And then I also have three Hydroblasts for Burn and three Pyroblasts for Tron and Blue Decks. Um, in this video I was testing one Shenanigans, which ended up not being super helpful. I'm gonna drop that for a Dispel. which would have been a bit more helpful against the uh, this guy Ephemerae deck. Um, as my other two counters that I was using here are Negate, uh, number three, and, and Exclude. Exclude is super good against things like Boros Monarch or against um, Mono Black Control and can be another way to counter a Dinroba Horror. And last but not least, we have a Nature's Chant which is Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment. It's essentially a disenchant, but because it has green in the casting cost, if I have a familiar out, it costs just one white mana to cast it, which is quite good. So it's a one mana Destroy Artifact or Enchantment. That's pretty much the list here. Um, we can go over some of the combos. So without Sanctuary, there isn't um, any infinite draw engine in this deck, but the combos are basically almost all relying on having a familiar and some other cards. So let's kind of set that up. So your main combo is two familiars, um, a ghosty flicker, Sage's Road Denizen, and a wall. So here, the two Sunscape Familiars make the Ghostly Flicker only cost one mana. So you can Ghostly Flicker, um, Demonic Wall, and Island 
infinite number of times to get infinite triggers from the Sage's Rodenison. Again, if you don't have the Sage's Rodenison in play and you have a God for Us Faithful in play, flickering here on the wall and island gives you infinite life. Um, you can also have another combo which is infinite snaps. So if I don't have Ghosty Flicker, or I do have to have Ghosty Flicker for this, I have the snap and I don't have the God for Us Faithful or the Sage's Rodenison. What I can do is, if I have two walls, two islands, I'll take the ghosty flicker, I'll flicker, I'll flicker these two mnemonic walls, and one mnemonic wall will get back a snap, and one mnemonic wall will get back a flicker. And then I go ahead and snap one of my opponent's creatures and untap both of my islands. So that's a mana neutral play. You can also make this same play by replacing one familiar with one bounce land. So, if I have one familiar, Ghosty Flicker costs two mana, which is the mana from the bounce land, and then Snap costs one mana, which is the mana from the island, and that would be infinite snaps as well. There really aren't any other infinite combos that I can think of. Well, actually, so there is one corner case in which you have two familiars. So this would be infinite mill too. So here we have two familiars, uh, two chanceries, and uh, mnemonic, one single mnemonic wall, one sage's row denizen, and one snap. So you can tap these two chanceries for four mana, snap the wall for one mana, floating white, white, blue, and then play the mnemonic wall again to get back snap. And obviously your, your snap would be untapping your chanceries. I did uh, make that work a while ago, and it comes up very infrequently, but it does come up. So I hope that you enjoy playing this deck, and uh, hope that you enjoy watching the videos. We should be seeing some more play of this, and I'll hopefully be working through some additional changes trying to streamline the deck. So thank you everyone and see you next time.